Hi all, it's Silas Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com. How are you doing? It's great to have your company. We're back on the film festival trail. It's our home film festival, the London Film Festival. It's coming up in October. We just met with a bunch of filmmakers whose films you're going to be hearing a lot about during the festival. So let's go and find out more. The film is very much a love letter to London. It's set in August, so we wanted to document the vibrancy of the city. Um, so London Film Festival is really the perfect place to have its UK premiere. What is Last Swim about? So, Last Swim is a coming-of-age story told from the perspective of this British-Iranian girl played by Deba. Um, it's a day in the life of her and her friends. Um, it's an exploration of lost youth. Um, I guess the questions we wanted to pose with the film is if you had one day to celebrate and reclaim your youth, where would you go? What would you do? Right. Yeah. Interesting. And how was it to play this part, uh, this woman who is uh, coming of age and trying to find her youth? I, d I definitely found a lot of myself in her and like vice versa. But originally when like looking at the character, I was like, oh goodness, like she's so far away from who I am uh, as a person and like my values and, and, and my morals even. Mm -hmm. Like sh she, she has completely prioritized her education and her school life over absolutely everything right, right. for so long, for so right, long. Right. But then I got to bring bits of my identity and like my lived experience into her character once she starts to kind of like derail from like her original plan. So it was interesting in bringing myself and taking parts of her, but she's a special she's a special character oh, okay. and i was saying to um alt africa like i i love her and right. i really have so much love yeah. for her and i want her to be okay like in my head yeah. i would hope that she's fine now but yeah and um, what was the inspiration for the character where did you develop especially like a a, a woman's story you know yeah uh, so we started writing it in the pandemic which is worth mentioning because yeah. it's basically a film about lost youth mm. um, and in terms of the background so I'm, I'm half Indian half Iranian but the, I wanted to delve into my Iranian heritage with the film and I uh, the character of Zebra is basically a combination of lots of female cousins that I have um, and uh, of, of those cousins they are basically the kind of immigrant child's example slash dream like they are academically strong speak two if not three languages play a musical instrument help out at home and i thought if you have a character like that who for one reason or another has their future taken away there's a real tragedy in that so that's why i made the protagonist a young woman yeah and could you identify with that part i mean your own background could you relate to it the lead character 100 percent. i mean i'm kurdish but the region of kurdistan that i'm from is occupied under uh, like the iranian state yeah, so right. there's so many crossovers in like culture language the way we are the way we behave yeah. what we eat yeah i've grown up with farsi being in the house like since right. i was like a young child so yeah. i've always understood the language i never spoke it but when working on La Swim, it gave me an opportunity to learn a little bit as well. So yeah. What, what is the main language of the film? Uh, so it's it's mainly in English with some um, dialogue scenes in Farsi. Oh, so okay. like and a where lot is of, it set? It's set in. Uh, so it starts out in West London, and it's a journey. It's a road oh, film okay. through London: planes, trains, yeah. automobiles, north, south, and the east. So there's a little bit of everywhere. And yeah. how does it feel to bring it to London after Berlin Berlinale, where you had your work? Oh, I mean, we're, all, we're from London. Right. A lot of the people who worked on the film right. are from London. And the film is very much a love letter to London. It's set in August, so we wanted to document the vibrancy right. of the city. Yeah. Um, so London Film Festival is really the perfect place to have its UK premiere. Yeah. And then just tell us a little bit about your film background, how you came into How did you come into film? So, how did you come to be a filmmaker? So I started out like a lot of directors do, um, um, doing music videos and fashion films and then commercials. This is my debut feature. I've always wanted to do features. It's really been a, you know, a 20 year journey to get to this point. Um, and um, hopefully I'll get to do many more. Let's see how and it how goes. how did you find her and what your acting experience? My acting experience is very minimal. Um, no, I, I always... You're in a feature film. Yeah, no, I always... She's modest. 
Yeah. 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 But yeah, as a joke, I, I always sure. tell everyone I'm like literally the least educated person I know. I haven't gone to school since I was 16. So for me, like, I didn't even do the acting school process. Right. Um, there's an incredible, incredible director called Luna Carmoon, and I was in her first feature. Oh, okay. But she was the one that reached out to me and got me to audition for oh, her feature. And right. She just gave me a pep talk. I remember going into her audition. I, I, I bottled it. It was so bad. It was such a bad audition. But she took me out and she was like, look, like, people like us, working class people, with no, like, education, with no, like, educational links to film or no, like, nepotism links to film. Like, my parents aren't filmmakers. My dad washes cars and my mum owns a calf. Do you know what I mean? Like, very, very normal people. So when you don't have these ties or these connections to these industries, it's it's a very narrowing and a very, like, straight forward path, right? So she just took me out and she was like, Diva, like, we need to be in these spaces. Gave me fire, gave me a kick up the bum, and now I'm here. And if it wasn't for her giving me that talk, then I don't really think I'd have the confidence to be here now. But it's, it's, it's special, and I really, really think that more uneducated working class people need to enter these kinds of spaces because we can provide real lived experience to acting and to roles yeah, and stuff. Yeah, we agree. can provide experience that maybe perhaps other people don't have and that's so fine but it's a different breath, Absolutely. it's a different realm. Yeah, so yeah, great. that's what, that's how well, I got into it all. We, we wish you all the best with the film, good luck and thanks for talking to us. Thank thanks, you so thank much. You. Thanks for having us. Good luck, good luck, good luck.